I went to the Bedford County Commissioner's meeting and asked them what they could do to help me. Um, there was a reporter from the Bedford Gazette there, and I got my story in the Bedford Gazette. It's a well-written article. And it says in the article, uh, the Lamborn Mobile Home Court located Old Route 220 between Emler and Sproul is in the center of a lawsuit that alleges the manager of the park dug a hole at the park and damaged a sewer pipe and didn't repair it once it once was damaged. It also claims five underground storage tanks from the former gas station on the property are leaking petroleum products. I was told that uh, DEP was there in uh, the early 80s and that they were aware of the gas tanks that were left on the property. Asked if the Mabel Home Park had a working sewage faculty, Schuller declined to comment, referring calls to the township attorney. He would not comment, nor would the township supervisors. A call to Burley's home wasn't returned. Uh, Mr. Burley's attorney, he says that uh, there are working septic systems on the property. Um, I mean, then why did he run a sewage pipe to the stream? Why did he dig a hole and break a sewage pipe and for over two months did not inform me? In August 11, 2010, letter from Dean Schuller, Sewage Enforcement Officer, to Richard Barrett, Sewage Planning Specialist for the State Department of Environmental Protection in Altoona, Schuller outlined the long history of problems at the park, stating, starting in the late 1970s with a permit application for repairs. After Bedford County, County Township and Borough Sanitary Corporation's Dennis Bill revoked the repair permit, the township dropped the corporation as its sewage enforcement agency and the malfunction issue involved Lamborn Mabel Home Park was left unresolved, Shola wrote in his 2010 letter. The manager who is the subject of the suit, Robert Burley of Roaring Springs, has denied all claims. The suit should be brought against the owners of the trailer court, his suit states. Robert Burley also denies, and I have many papers, denying that he uh, broke a sewage pipe beside my mobile home and um, denies doing a lot of things. Um, it says in the Bedford Gazette about the claim that the township filed against uh, Robert Burley. Uh, it says about uh, us having to leave our home in July of 2010 after, uh, you know, the sewage gases sickened us, you know, by coming in our home since he dug the sewage pipe right beside my mobile home. And um, I took a picture. Uh, June 1st, 2010, about a week after he had dug this hole and just threw two boards over. And um, I took pictures of the hole July 30th, 2010, when I realized what was causing our health problems.